Okay, I get um, Why do I feel like he was older? I don't feel like he was like super young. I feel like he was older. I want to say that there's like an increase of age 30 and above. I feel like brown hair. Brown mustache. I get this person. Um, the way that the image is coming in is like, um, do you know how like some people have like the the mullet going on and stuff? Like I feel like there was like a mullet at some point, maybe possibly in his life as well too. I, I keep on getting somebody with curly hair, but again, that could be a joke or that could be a memory. Um, I ask of Tommy to please step in my circle full, full force and I ask of him to please be present with us. I get somebody who's very, very emaciated as well too. Like, and when I say emaciated, I mean like he's like sunken in his, on his cheeks. Um, so this is somebody that like went through quite the process. I'm not sure what that process is just yet, but I'm just kind of saying this as this is coming in. I feel like there was malnourishment. I don't know why, okay? To someone who likes a party. I get very anxious. I get very anxious and I don't know why. Something's going on with my body right now. Tommy, can you tell me more about this? Why am I feeling a certain way? Okay, so I hear consumed, 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 consumption. Um, what were you consumed by? I'm afraid, afraid of what? The, the right hand side of my so I'm, I'm acknowledging some pains I'm ac acknowledging some problems the right hand side of my head is is massively hurting cur currently right now I don't know why I'm getting a lot of pain towards here this area of my head I don't know why there's a lot of anxiousness there's um, it's a feeling of consumption consuming means as though that there's um, like a problem in, in my life, I'm feeling anxious, I'm feeling, feeling uh, very fearful. Um, Tommy, did you cross over? Okay, so this was not expected. This was not an expected death, is that correct? He did not expect this to happen. It's not, this was not, let me, let me put it this way. This was not premeditated on his part. We didn't, he did.
I don't think that this would have been his choice. I'm just being completely honest because again, I'm gonna go back to consumption. When somebody is under the influence, um, which I, and I have experience in this, let me just, let me just push him to the side for a second and we'll get right back to him. I just need to explain some things to you. When we are under the influence, okay, our brains do not work normally. So, I'm gonna tell you this right now, this was a mistake, okay? Um, your brother does not feel completely crossed over. I don't know how long that this has been, but I would not be surprised if Rich is still feeling a lot of grief over this because his brother has not fully crossed over because he's in this like limbo period, right? I call them ghosts. I don't call them spirits, I call them ghosts. He's in this limbo period where he is still blaming, he's still in pain, and he's still, because again, I'm not, a spirit should not be anxious. A spirit should not be in pain. A spirit should not be this. And this is this constant ongoing thing. Do I think that he did this by choice? I, I don't think that he meant to. I think that this was a mistake and now he's paying for it. Okay. Um, Tommy, can you please come forward again? Okay. Tommy, can you tell me more about what happened to you? Okay, I heard a loud, I, I heard, I just, my ears are ringing. Can you tell me more? You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. I feel like I wasn't in the right mind. I just feel like I was not in the right mind. I keep on going into this confusion state of like him him doing this or acting upon this himself. So can I can I ask you guys a question? Was this did he commit suicide or did he overdose? What did he unalive himself? I'm sorry. Should not have said that. Did he unalive himself or did he over he did. Okay. So I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't think that he purposely did this. I think that now that he's on the other side, he regrets it because I think that he was under the, a lot of the influence because of whatever substance that he was on at the time. I can definitely feel as though there was alcohol because my breath, my it feels like my, uh, my mouth is on fire. But I also feel as though that there was something that I was consuming as well too, a possible pill, um, because it does feel as though that I'm getting some type of drip in the back of my, my um, nose. I've experienced this, that's why I was like anxiousness. I'm like, okay, I'm dealing with somebody who was partially addicted possibly um, in one point or another. So, so um, Tommy, can I ask you a question? Do you, have you seen the light? I don't wanna leave them, okay. That's, so you're not leaving them. Do you understand that? Okay. Is there a family member on Tommy's side or Rich's side that can come through, come forward? Okay, your dad's mom, Rich, dad's mom. She's giving me very um, Beverly Hillbilly vibes. Grandma, she don't play around. Your dad's mother. Okay. Okay, there's differences. There's a lot of differences. Okay. So so you do realize that grandma is crossed over, correct? Okay. So she so she doesn't take that on what she once did before. You understand? Okay. She is in the light. I'm sorry, I'm having like a, a full on conversation right now. 
I don't mean to like be doing this in front of you guys because normally like this does not happen. Um, but there's reasons why that this does happen and I have to cross him over. I have to put him to the other side. Um, you guys probably felt as though that there's been um, kind of like creepiness, right? Around your house. You guys probably have had like grieving processes, especially with your husband, um, where he's maybe falling in some sort of depression as well too. So I'm like kind of like conversing right now, okay? That this is probably why that this is happening so once he does cross over understand that a lot of this is going to dissipate in your home it's not going to change he's going to be able to come back but he's scared because of how he left he didn't want to leave in the first place but i think because of the substances that this was hard for him to cross over he didn't want to he was afraid um and for some reason i'm, I'm assuming that he was afraid of the family because of how the family thought about him for whatever reason, so just understand that, um, especially on your dad's side, because he, I'm assuming that, like, your grandmother was, like, this not-so-nice person, maybe. Maybe she was a little bit of a hard-ass as well, too. So that kind of put, put fear in him, if that makes sense, when she was, like, kind of coming across and was like, hey, I'm here, let's go. He didn't want to go because he felt as though that he was in trouble. So he stuck around. He stuck around. Um... Angels, ancestors, and guides, um, before we cross him over, I ask of Tommy once more, do we have any messages for your brother at this time? I'm sorry. Who found him? Who found him? said found I heard found him who found you okay it was a man a man found him so I'm seeing a little bit of images with this I feel like I feel like rich got the phone call is that correct rich got the phone call that his brother was dead I'm not always 100% accurate. Rich missed the call from Tommy before. Okay. Understood, understood, understood. Okay, so I, I'm not always 100% accurate. So the way that it's being depicted to me, I don't know what happened. I'm only seeing those images to kind of produce outward, right? So I feel as though that there was something in regards to possibly some man finding him, okay? Um, I don't know why, that's just how it's coming across to me as. Then it's like almost like something like I see like the cell phone, like a cell phone. And it seems as though there was like a call that was made and it was to Rich. For whatever reason, whether that was importance of somebody calling him and saying, hey, I'm, I'm, he's no longer with us or anything. But there was a phone call that was made. So that's why I'm kind of stating that for what that is. Um, what else do we have, Tommy? Take care of yourself, old man. He didn't mean to do this, Rich. He did not mean to do this. Your brother did not mean to do this. This was, it, like, he was really fucked up. He was really fucked up. Like, I can't, like, explain to you how fucked up your brother was, okay? He did not mean to do this, okay? And there would have been no cause or case or scenario to understand why he did this, okay? He just felt like he, he had nothing. He had nothing. Your brother did not talk about his problems, okay? And, and your family, your family, unfortunately, 
was not brought up how people are brought up these times because mental health is aware is is is, is, is talked about now do you know what I mean and a lot of people are like well everyone's about their feelings blah 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 so on and so forth that's why you you hear about all this stuff well back in the day they didn't talk about it if somebody killed themselves, they didn't talk about it. If somebody unalived themselves, they didn't talk about it because that was not their thing. Back in the day, it's different how it is now because mental health is actually talked about for once. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, he had a lot of problems that he kept inside. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there was issues with the uh, with one of his female friends. I feel as though that there was also money issues. I feel as though that he um, kept on going, you know, with his addictions. I feel I feel like that was a huge problem for him. I feel like that was also eating him away too. I feel like there was also a lot of things that he, he probably needed to talk about about your guy's dad. You know what I mean? I think that there was a lot of issues that that's the cause and case of why and scenario why he held everything in that's why it was like well he was a happy guy he was always partying he was always trapped in his mind robin williams was the happiest man that we all thought that he was but look at how he went you know what i mean that man was riddled riddled with emotions that he could not deal with you know what I mean? And one of the most happiest made people laugh was the most hurt and in pain. You know what I mean? That's the best way that I can describe the situation. I think that's why that you guys didn't know. He was the Robin Williams in the family. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Do you know what I mean? Held it all deep in. You know what I mean? Would rather, I'm getting chills just even talking about this, would rather just tell everything that's going on with him and stuff along those lines. Like, he was not that type of person because he didn't want to bother or burden somebody else because of that pain. Plain and simple. You know, so, Rich, your brother loves you, okay? And just because he's gonna cross over now does not mean that he's crossing over and he's never gonna come back. He is. But your brother also have to understand that way, okay? Um, I ask of... Um, Tommy and Rich's grandmother to please step forward at this time. I get very Beverly Hillbillies woman. I don't know if this is what your grandmother is. I get this very personality of like Beverly Hillbillies uh, grandmother. Kind of like the, you know, the grandma and grandpa that are outside of the farmhouse with the pitchfork and I think the shovel. That's how the grandma comes across. Okay. Not saying that she's like, like that. No, I just, I see an older woman. She has, she has some glasses on. Maybe it doesn't even have glasses. Very kind of, you know, you can tell that she was an outside person. She had wrinkles on her face. Um, kind of a little overbearing stuff along those lines. This is how this grandmother's coming forward as. Um, Tommy, I have to ask you, um, understand that when you go to cross over into the light, this is not going to be it's not going to pain you. It's not going to hurt anybody else. This is actually going to help everybody. Do you understand that? He doesn't. Okay. So you, are you going to be a little bit resistful? Okay. Understand when the, when you go on that light, you're not going to hell. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay. Grandma, I need you to help. Okay, Tommy, are you ready? Okay. Your family is waiting all over there. Every single person that you know and the ones that you have not met yet, they're all waiting over there for you. There's not gonna be no pain, you're not gonna suffer, you're not gonna feel anxious anymore. Do you understand that? It's not gonna hurt you at all.
Rich, he loves you, and he'll see you soon. Okay. He's crossed, for whatever reason, this pain took him on in a very, very bad and a very, very dark place. Um, he felt he was undeserving of it. You're going to feel a little bit of relief, but you're also going to feel a little bit of sadness. Um, when someone is now crossed over, it's like kind of going through the grievance process again. There's going to be a lot of things that are flashing. Okay. Um, when they stay around, there's weird shit that happens in our homes. Okay. Um, because there's like this ghostly energy, right? There's this mundane energy. For whatever reason, I don't know why, the bathroom comes up. Okay. Energy, some type of energy in the bathroom. One of the bathrooms comes up. Okay. Um, I'm not clear as to why that is. All right. That's, that's a lot of the time where there's like some sort of reflection that's going on as well. And, and I'm just going to let you know that it's going to dissipate over time. This might sound super weird and you might not even believe it. That's okay. You don't have to, but there's going to be less and less of activity going on in your home now because of this. Okay, um, your brother's gonna be at peace. Your brother's gonna be at peace. You're also gonna find peace within your heart because now that he's crossed over, he's working on that pain. And he's gonna be helping his loved ones that are still here be relieved of it. Okay? Um, grief holds us back, unfortunately, especially when we did not purposely do this. We didn't want this to happen. Unfortunately, consumption is a real thing. It, it has to stop at some point. It just has to. You know what I mean? Jails, institutions, and death. That's how it all ends for us. You know what I mean? So, you know, your brother, unfortunately, did not reveal how unhappy he actually was. Um, so, I'm, I, my condolences. Um, I'm sorry that you've had to go through this and understand that your brother's always going to be with you no matter what now. You know what I mean? I think that your brother just honestly seeing that blue light, he thought because of what happened, he was going to go to hell because that's what you guys have been taught. That's what you guys have been taught. He was scared. He was scared. It's not going to hell. It's not hell. <laughs> it's our own personal heaven for everybody. All right.